Just a step foot. You own 17 birds. Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. In my line, if you own 17 birds. Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy if you own 17 birds. Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy if you want 17 birds. Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. Yeah, I'm from the 17. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I'm the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, before we get into the meat and potatoes, of course I'm going to let y'all know, man, where y'all can cop all y'all hurt season gear. Hit the link in the description real quick, man. Winter is coming. Make sure you get your hat. Stay in tune. Stay in step. And also, man, thank y'all for streaming Patient Zero, man. And been jumping out the gym. Look, look, look. Thank y'all. That's all I'm going to say. Let's get into the meat and potatoes, though, yo. Because, listen, although, you know, we got a lot to be happy about, you know, 8-0, first time in franchise history, you know what I mean? Really good win for the Philadelphia Eagles against the Texans. But, you know, there are some areas of improvement that we need to, you know, kind of focus on right now. Right now, you know, we're coming down towards a stretch of, of, of the season to where it's not really about so much about the quarterbacks that we play. Um, I'm not afraid of Daniel Jones. I'm not afraid of Dak Prescott. Aaron Rodgers, we got to start talking about Aaron Rodgers as who he is, not who he was. I'm not really afraid of Tannehill. Uh, who else is coming down the pipe? I don't know. Jameis Winston, one of them guys, whoever they're going to throw in the mix. Not really afraid. Not afraid of Heineke either. But th this is the point. A lot of the teams that we play on a schedule have running backs that can take over the game. And our running defense has been, you know, leaky at best, to say the least. Um, we have... Aaron, uh, we have Aaron Jones of Green Bay. Potentially, I've heard he was in a walking boot uh, this week. So I don't know where he's going to be at when it's time for us to play him. Um, you got Saquon Barkley twice. You got the combination of Zeke and Pollard one more time. You have Alvin Kamara. You have Derrick Henry. You have some really, really strong running backs who can really expose our defense down the stretch because we've been showing a very, very, very leaky at best defensive attack. It all started week one. Now, listen, out of um, out of eight games that we played so far, the Philadelphia Eagles have given up how many? One, two, three, four, five different times to a runner a runner of five yards or more per carry. It started week one. Uh, Swift actually had 9.6 yards of carry on us. That is just disgusting. 9.6 yards of carry. Connor, 6.1 yards of carry. Arizona, Zeke, 6.2 yards of carry. Warren, 8.3 yards of carry in the Pittsburgh game. I'm not sure if that happened, you know, in, in the time of, you know, um, garbage time or not, but it don't matter. A running back having 8.3 yards of carry, yeah, 50 yards rushing. So even if it was in garbage time, it's still even more disrespectful. And Damian Pierce just of late uh, with 5.1 5 yards per carry. And listen, Connor, Zeke, Warren and Pierce, those are four consecutive games of giving up, you know what I'm saying, five yards of carry. So now a pattern is building. Now we got to start talking about this. How did we really, really get here? How do we get here? What's really going on that got us looking so suspect in a run game? Now, some of this, in my opinion, can be, you know, attributed to, you know, poor tackling, you know, us not wrapping up. Got it. That's all on film. But it's also other things on film that's even more alarming than the poor tackling to me. Um, we are just not matching the energy of some of these rushing attacks. We blatantly see that guys are going to run the ball. Like in the Tennessee game, we blatantly see these guys are coming out in pack. Not the Tennessee, I'm sorry. The Texans game. We blatantly see that these guys are coming out in packages. Um, three tight end, one running back. And we're out here in a pass, in a zone coverage package looking for the pass play. When these guys are literally in a jumbo package, we out here with one linebacker in the middle of the field. They got three tight ends. We just not prepared to even stop some of these guys, and that's due to the lack of scheme. Listen, when you prepare soft, you tackle soft. You tackle soft. Have the guys prepared, ready to make collisions and make tackles, and then maybe we'll see something different. You know what I mean? Um, the teams that, you, you know, teams ran for us, you know, teams ran on the Philadelphia Eagles the fourth least amount of times in the National Football League. You know what I mean? It's only three other teams that had teams run on them more than the Philadelphia Eagles. That's a tribute. You, you know, you got you to gotta attribute that to Jalen Hurts and the offense. We've been so explosive in the first half of games. It's been making people switch their pitch, switch up their game plan, switch up how we, we've been able to play them, which is why we get all these interceptions, which is why, you know, we get a lot of pass deflections. You know what I mean? Guys have no choice but to throw the ball on us. But what happens when you get into a tight game? It was 14-14 against the Texans. They still were able to run the ball in the second half. 
You know what I mean? The Lions game was tight. They were able to run the ball in that game. You see what I'm saying? The Tennessee Titans, all they do is run the ball. We got to be prepared for that, man. We got to be prepared for that. Now, I will say our run defense is spotty at best. We've given up the least amount of rushing yards in the division. You know what I mean? It's not by a lot, but every, every other team in our division has given up more rushing yards on the ground so far this season. But these things have to be corrected. We have to come out and understand what we're dealing with. Like, I'm going to lose my mind if I see us playing against the Tennessee Titans, who are proven to be a solid team. They did just take an L to the Chiefs. They've proven to be real solid and a real formidable, you know, opponent. They just don't have no passing attack. We know they don't have a passing attack. So how should we approach this game? Now, Tannehill was one of the corner, one of the quarterbacks, you know what I mean, that could potentially give us a hard time. But it's not a lot of quarterbacks left on the schedule that we got to worry about. We don't play Patrick Mahomes. You know what I mean? We don't play Josh Allen. We don't play Joe Burrow. We don't play a lot of these guys this year. So it's like, make those guys beat you and shut down the run and wrap these games up. Wrap these games up. Jonathan Gannon has to do better at shutting down the run. You're getting into the cold winter months of the season and shutting down the run is paramount. Shutting down the run is, 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 is what has to happen around this time of the year. Make guys throw the ball. Make guys throw the ball. We control time of possession nine times out of ten in most of our games. You know what I mean? We don't really allow too many home run plays, but well, not really a lot at all. You know what I mean? So just shut down the run and be completely dominant, man. I hate that this weakness is, is, is glaring, but you know, it's a lot of things we could do to correct this. We could do more um, more five-man fronts. You know, we could match energy. If they're coming out with jumbo, let's have some linebackers out there to fill up some gaps. You know what I mean? Let's also have a plan B for when these guys are double-teaming our defensive tackles, you know what I mean, our defensive linemen. Uh, the Texans did a lot of that. So there's ways we can, you know, maneuver around to make this thing better and get this thing corrected. But right now, when you're talking about four straight games in a row where the teams had over five yards of carry, that's getting alarming to me. You're showing the pattern now. The Philadelphia Eagles need to fix this because we got some really good running backs on the rest of the schedule, and we're chasing the number one seed. Let me know what y'all think in the comments.